Daddy Wear in the song I mean. Uh, it still gives me goosebumps watching that. It was fucking unbelievable. Oh, my French. Yeah, awesome gig. Oh, bit of diesel in the road. You can smell it and see it. The old horrible rainbow. Uh, I think I've been down this road before, but Callie says I haven't, so obviously I didn't record it. And again, I don't really know. Where I'm going towards Woodchurch, that's out on the marsh. Again, I don't really care where I'm going. I'm riding my bike, and I know it's raining, but I don't really care. Better check on my main tank, which I am, in case I run on the reserve. Obviously, bike does a fuel gauge. But I'm doing 40 miles an hour without a care in the fucking world. It's just this. Is, this is what we do. And I'm sure that there's guys watching this that can totally associate with that. Just riding along. I mean, look at this in the middle of the woods. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's say, oh, oh, that looked like a oh, that looked like a bridle way open to all traffic. I, it's shut. But I'm going to spin around and have a quick look at it because you can on a Honda 250 RS. I wouldn't be doing this on my multi-strider. Let's just see if there's any better signs for it. Yeah, it's 1st of October, so obviously that's closed. I'm not going to ride it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is, look. Well, what they say byway. That's a bit of a swizz calling it a byway. Because it's not a byway. It's a boat, a bridal way up to all traffic. But, yeah, there's a picture of a jeep there. And a horse and carriage, and a horse and a cycle, and someone running. But, yeah. Uh, 1st of October to 30th of April, except for access, so I'm not going to go down it. But I'm going to have a quick read of the sign. Oh, it's a missing dog. Oh, okay. Well, sorry whoever lost your dog. Oh, November 2022. Well, we'd like to think they got it back. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I don't think it goes the other side, because obviously there's a barrier there. But no, I'm not going to ride it. But, nice to know... Next April, I might come back and have a look at that on the trusty, rusty RS. Yeah, nice. Power! Oh, 7,000 RPM. My sweet shifting spot. Yeah, this is a nice road. I wonder if it's been tarmac since the last time I came down here, because I'd have remembered this. It's a nice little bike route. scenery. The new remote control tells me how long I've been recording for. 14 minutes. No, nearly 15 minutes. I guess this is why everyone uses GoPro because it just does the job. I know you've got to spend some money but it, it just does the job and it works and uh, I didn't want to spend big money. You know, I'm trying to record my thoughts not on a budget that's the wrong the wrong way of terming it but I'm not a youtuber I'm a bloke that's making videos for people to watch if they want to watch and listen to my waffles but like I said in a previous video for the future for you know if my daughter has kids and, and I'm long gone someone could watch these videos and have a good laugh about me riding this funny little motorcycle down these little lanes talking to himself but hey you know a bit of fun in it alright yeah I'm hoping that the wind noise is better on this microphone because it, it was a more expensive microphone it cost me <laughs> all of 10 quid uh, where should we go let's go to Warehorn because this looks oh unsuitable for motor vehicles is that here it is nothing is unsuitable for the trusty CB250 RS uh, but yeah 
it's, uh, it's definitely getting a little bit more rural there's a squirrel runs across the road in front of me but at least it stopped raining it's a bit muddy footpath with a pond right I don't know if this goes anywhere you might see me stopping and turning around and coming back in a few minutes little puddle I'm going to ride through a puddle pheasants they're such stupid animals they just run oh you go I'm going to fly away again this could be a little Michael route yeah makes me smile when I see these little roads and remember him he was a good friend okay now that does note that shows it is a route oh this is lovely look at this little farm well it's like a little farmhouse it's not exactly little is it no, that's, that is gorgeous a bit out of my budget unfortunately but a nice place to live by the look of it nice and peaceful I wonder if I could wipe the lens with my glove let's wait till we get up here Still no idea where I am. Alright, let's stop. Safety first. Just in case I hit a bump one handed. And the awesome suspension. Oh look at it. It doesn't soak up the the bump. Then I pitch off down the road, that'd be that'd be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? crashing because you're wiping your GoPro camera lens especially when you're not in a hurry to go anywhere oh look 800 miles haha <laughs> fantastic 800 miles since I got this and I think I've only had it a month I might have to um, pay some more money to my insurance company because when I bought it I thought it's just gonna be something for the odd day just to you know cruise around on but I ride it all the bloody time because it, it gives me so much enjoyment and I think I've already got 2,000 miles on my policy so I'm gonna have to give them a call and oh I'm gonna have to give them a call and update that would you believe it eh? a 900 quid 43 year old motorcycle that I've done more miles on I've done more miles on this in the last month than my Multistrada in a year, I think. Oh no, that's a lie. No, we went to Europe in June, didn't we? Yeah, we went down to the south of France. Uh, dipped into Italy, just because we were on the border. I think we walked into Italy, to be fair. And Switzerland. And we did a lot of the passes with a few mates. It was a friend's 50th birthday. Hello, Lewis, if you're watching this. You won't be, but hello anyway. So there were, I uh, can't remember how many of us there was, what was there, six of us, seven of us, I can't remember. But anyway, we we shot down and did some did some of the passes and it was a, yeah, epic week, really good. So I have done more miles on the multi. What are we up to now, 20 minutes. I'm going to get to the next junction and I'll probably stop the video there and I might start it, start it again and have another waffle or a to be continued oh what's this that's uh, just a footpath I think they closed the bridleways off some of the or the boats off in the winter to stop the 4 before 4 guys going down there because if ever you've been down one after the 4 before 4 lads have been through they are absolutely massacred you know, bikes cause very, very little damage. But the cars, this is tight, let's drop that right down. The cars, the 4 before 4s with their tyres, they rip them up. Uh, and they make them unusable. So I guess once the, the weather turns and we get a bit more rain, they don't dry. It is quite sensible to stop them being used because otherwise, yeah, they would be unusable. They really would. Uh, we've got a T-junction coming up. School Hill, where am I? 
Ah, I think I know where I am now. Or do I? Mm, no, maybe I don't. I might have to have a look at the map. I'm near Warehorn. Oh look, Ham Street. I can see where I've gone. There we go. Where should we go? Let's go out on the marsh. Yeah, let's go out on the marsh. Zoom that right in. There we go. So YouTubes, I hope you enjoyed my 22 and a half minutes of drivel about the 250 RS. Do you know I'm going to jump off and let you have a look at it? Oh, oh look at it. Thing of beauty. Who'd have thought, eh? Who'd have thought I'd get so much pleasure from something like that? Uh, I'm getting old. Right, anyway, YouTubes, I will speak to you again soon. If you've liked my waffle and my crap that I chat, bang a like in just so I know that someone's actually watching these, at least watching them to the end. You don't need to subscribe or any of that sort of stuff unless you really want to do and you really want to see more of my waffle. But, yeah, hope you have a good day. I might start another video in a little bit, but the weather's picking up now. It's stopped raining. So, yeah, have a good day, YouTubes, and I'll catch you soon.